When I got accepted, um, I called my parents, and my dad was ecstatic, and I'm sure he called his mom, my grandmother. They were the first people I called. I think with master students, we're here for such a short period of time that we don't necessarily um, prioritize making friends, and so we just do our work. Um, but then um, I started meeting people in my lab, in my classes, and then outside of my program, and that helped me um, find watch you to be more of a home than just a temporary stay. Um, and now that I'll be here for several more years, um, I really value all of the different communities that I've um, become a part of. One of the big things that helped me with the transition into the next stage of my career is the graduate seminar. That is something that all students uh, have to be enrolled in, every grad student especially. And in the seminar, we actually have a bunch of faculty members from WashU and outside of WashU that are doing cutting edge research in ESC or imaging, come in and sort of present their work. And uh, for someone like me who is wanting to get about a few years of industry experience and then jump into a PhD, WashU provided that great foundation where I now have a network of researchers that I can be in touch with. I'm a little bit independent when it comes to scheduling classes and trying to figure out what I want to do. Um, but I will say the master's uh, advisor, um, Dr. Dennis Barber, in biomedical engineering, he was fantastic. Um, anytime I had a question about what classes I should take, like he was very hands-on um, and very helpful if I ever had any questions about what I should do next. I think the people here are really nice, like the uh, admission people, the like the professors, the students are really nice to me. For incoming master students, advice I would give is to speak with students who are already here or professors about classes that you're interested in, just to get a sense about what the workload is like, what the content is like. Um, see if it's related with any of courses you've done in undergrad or other places so that you can have textbooks or previous notes to cross-reference. That would help a lot with, with um, going through the classes. And then, if you are doing research for your master's, it's also good to go to the faculty's websites and read about the research that they're doing, read their papers, if you can interact with their PhD students or even have a meeting with them just to get an idea of what they do and how that aligns with their interests and goals. 